Hello and welcome, this is Rob Chisholm here and I'm going to show you a few little ideas with you uh, in LumaFusion and also using Procreate and Affinity Photo and the idea was to see how I could make smoke so I made smoke from the image we're not getting a preview here are we so I will need to uh, restart LumaFusion for whatever reason it's had a little hang up uh, here we go yeah, we're back. So, sorry about that. Um, so, what we've got is smoke. We've got on uh, the smoke is animated. It's just a still image. We've got a person, and what I'm going to do also is different methods of making smoke from the same still image. Going to show you how to blur out the background because, as you know, unless you video and set your f stops and blur out the background. The uh, person in the front generally and the back is going to be in the same sharpness, so, so it looked like that. So I wanted to get a blurred background. These are just ideas messing around, see what I could do. Uh, do appreciate LumaFusion only, well only, but it's quite a lot for a tablet or phone environment, only has six layers in which to work with. So it's quite important to think this through. So as an example... Um, if I was to take this image, so I'll just show you what happened. Uh, that was the original image, so I used Procreate um, to colour in the background and get rid of the four-figure. Once I'd finished that, um, then I've got this image here. Uh, now I could set, I could blur that in Procreate at the same time, but I left it so I could do that in LumaFusion. The only problem was when I brought it in, I've actually got uh, six layers, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So I've got six layers, so I can't realistically bring that image in, drag it down to the timeline down here, and then drag that on top, because that would be seven. So that's what I mean by thinking ahead. So that's why in this particular part the image is not blurred at the background, but I did add it later to show you. So I'm going to go through that um, as quickly as I can, obviously... Maybe you have to listen to the video a few times to get this idea. Um, so what happens is, we'll just play it for the moment. So that's what that, so that's what we will have. So how how do we go about making all of that? Well, if we start with um, the smoke. So how would you make the smoke? Well, we'll just jump into. You could go story blocks. Um, if you if you haven't seen it, you can go story blocks here, and you could go to footage, and you probably pick up some smoke, etc. But um, you you need it like a PNG, so the background's removed. So I just opted to go for um, Procreate and oops, uh, smoke. There we go. I've already made one. So that that's my smoke. You've got brushes in uh, Affinity uh, in Procreate where you can make smoke. I think there might actually be one called smoke. There are packages on Affinity Photo, and I do believe if you go to the Facebook group run by Paul Mullet, there was a person who for free gave Zipped uh, smoke, so he made his own smoke up and gave it away. But it's more fun, I think, to uh, play with the paint and start colouring and see where you come up with. So I came up with that. I exported this as, um, uh, what is it, PNG. So I'm going to... Oh, cancel that in a moment but you can't take that into luma fusion it's not supported in procreate so you would have to then go to your photo app to, to get that i do hate this um, pushing up at the all it's doing is drawing i do hate this i can't exit you have to just put your finger up oh, and then it's gone again it's just just get out it's a bit annoying so moving on we've got our smoke and if we just go into the editor here 
um, you will be able to see it's actually a green screen as well I've done it and I've used uh, on the bottom here the little dots that's I'll bring it there a bit better you'll be able to see it. the size and position is what I've changed if you look on the right hand side you can see the size getting bigger so that's just a still image becoming animated in Luma Fusion. And then I've added colour. Um, you can do colour, or you can change it. We're going to the editor again. If you go here, you can see I've added a chroma key for the background. And the reason I what I did was I put initially a green background uh, straight away in uh, I'll bring up Affinity Photo now. I added a green background to the various parts. I could have exported as a PNG, but I felt if I added the green background, what would happen is uh, Affinity Photo, I could just drop it in and it would remove the background and clean it up a little bit better, which for me it seems to, to work. So we've got a smoke. Um, how did we make uh, this bit of smoke? Well, this one here, all it is, as we go back, is I, I've played around with it. Um, I've got the original, what it says, original, and changed around and given it an earthy look, etc. So I played around with that, and equally I played around with the size. So if we go to the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the uh, Y position is changing. So I resized it and played around until I, I got that feel of that sort of smoke. Um, and then equally, I thought, you know what, I don't, the background is in focus, I don't want the background to be in focus, I want it all centred on the foreground. So I went into um, Affinity Photo, cut it, I already cut out in Affinity Photo the image of the person, and I gave them a green background, and then the back uh, for the background was blurred because that was a separate image so I'll just explain how that is done so there's an image there of the background and as I said before I just used Procreate to uh, take out the background color it color in the foreground to remove that person and for a bit of fun I just took that hand and changed it around to that uh, so hopefully that will give you some ideas. So that's a way to use images, uh, animate them. It does take a bit of faff, I suppose, but this is just fun. It's a project just to get new ideas to see what, what I could come up with. Any questions, do ask. Um, all these videos, by the way, they're just recorded live. They're not rehearsed, so probably loads of mistakes, but hopefully it'll feel more real as if when you're doing it as well. So I wouldn't go by, you have to do it stage by stage. It's just like taking um, paint and making a painting explore. It doesn't have to be the same colour as anyone else or identical to what people do because you'll probably come out with a lot better idea than I've got. I'm just, I'm just throwing the ideas out there. So many thanks, Rob Chisholm.